Hi, it's Amy from Amy's Mix of Creativity. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with some Easter cards that I made, um, which I will show in a few minutes. I did, an, um, I did a video about, I don't know, four or five days ago on my Doodlebug collection, which is, let me see, here you go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> which is a bunch of different um, die cuts, papers, stickers, all kinds of fun stuff here. Some of the die cuts that I didn't get to show in my last video. If you want to see more um, of the about the, the whole collection, I have a haul um, that you can find on my channel. Uh, so check that out. It's the Easter Bunny Hop Doodle Bug Haul. And, um, yeah, so this is some of the cute little die cuts, the labels, um, you know, some of the, um, tags, bunnies, they're so cute, oh my goodness. Okay, little chickadees, I love it. I've got different types of, oh, that shouldn't be in there. Anyway, this is the chit chat bunny hop collection this is the back of the packaging you can see it comes with a variety of different um you know toppers and and sayings for all of your easter card and projects that you easter cards and projects that you want to do okay here's that so that's that collection i also I will get I will show the cards in detail in a few minutes, but I just wanted to show some of the collections I didn't get to show in the last video, which by the way, like I said, you can check it out if you want to um, find out more about all um, the things that I tried to you know put on this channel. Um, I'm not doing just card collections like this um, or you know like or paper collections um. Also going to do some tips and tricks on card making, uh, card um, helping yourself by, you know, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm tired tonight <laughs> after doing all the card, making all the cards, but you know, how to, how to help um, yourself if you are a card maker to relieve stress with um, doing paper crafting, uh, different ways to make it easier different ways to help relieve stress, things like that. I will be coming up with videos in the future um, in regards to those. I also want to show, this is the Bunny Hop Bits and Pieces. Okay, this I didn't get to show in the last video either. I had a lot going on and I guess I'm, was it, I didn't know where this went, but I found it. I love the the collection of, of this is so cute too with the flowers, but it also comes with tags and different different things for planners, toppers, all kinds of cute stuff. Okay, so I just oh, look how cute that is. This is a little notebook, <laughs> not notebook. I'm sorry, it's a it's um, a, what's a <laughs> a board that you you know that you can put papers on and stuff to write. <laughs> okay, so part of my thing is that I I love paper crafting. I love being on doing this um these crafting videos. But bear with me sometimes because I am dealing with some health issues. I'm <laughs> I have arthritis and some other issues going on. Some genetic things that happen. So. Um, sometimes I'm, you know, gonna just be laughing because I might forget what I'm saying, but I think a lot of people can relate to that. Okay, so here's these beautiful flowers, things like that to add to your cards, just what are really nice. Now I have, now that I found these, I did use a little bit in my card making, but mostly I will now be able to use them in the future for... My, new, my cards next year, too, for Easter. Okay, so I'm going to go through some of these cards I made. Um, first of all, I want to let you know that you can use 
all kinds of different things when card making. So here in this card I made tags. I decorated tags and then I put them on the card, um, on the front of the card. So I made this one from my sister's family because they love, they have chickens <laughs> and they love birds and they all, you know, so I thought it was cute with the little chickadees and the flowers and the cards and the eggs, just adorable for Easter. And I put on little, um, they're called, they're called sprinkle, like sticker sprinkles or something that that's the dual bug name for them, but they're just really like little gems that you can s stick on the cards. Now, each of my cards, I try to put something special oh, in the in the inside also. Um, so this just says peep and has a couple of little chickadees in it. I thought that was really cute. I'm covering up my family's names and our names for privacy. Here's another one that I made for my for my nephews in the family. I thought a little boy card would be really cute for them. And here's some more of the little chickadees that are like that are sticking up. I also I put these on with um with you know with the little stickies um oh, what are they called there <laughs> little pop dot things that come that you can get they're actually this is what they look like i've used about half of them so most things that are sticking up on my cards that's how i get them to stick up with those those little pop dot things <clears throat> okay and the inside little chickadee saying happy easter <laughs> One thing I wanted to talk about too in this video real quick is that if you're not up for making like, you know, from scratch cards for people, don't feel like you have to because I always thought I that was the thing, you know, I needed to keep up with everybody else, keep up with the Joneses, which is kind of funny because that's my maiden name, <laughs> but I, I really felt like I needed to have everything be something that I made myself you know using die cuts using inks using things like you know things that i i realize now like i can i can cut corners look i just like making beautiful designs cute little like this is a cute little design okay so if i can do it with my die cut with some of my stamps i have some really really cute buddy bunny stamps that i am so excited to to be able to use but i just wasn't able to use it this year but this type of thing where it's pre-made and you cut it out all you need you know you, you cut things out with scissors um this i just got this tiny little <laughs> trimmer I'll get back to the card in a second, but I got this, just got this tiny little trimmer that will help me. I have a bigger trimmer and I have a medium sized trimmer. Um, I like the guillotine ones the best because they seem to cut nicer than the slide trimmers. But whatever floats your boat, but this, you know, having a little one at hand really helps when you're trying to make cards that, you know, when you're putting together piece, little pieces and you need to cut the um, backgrounds. I made this background one solid piece and then I made a little top part for like the sky with the sun there and my cute little my cute little bunnies with the with the little carrot house and the gems flowers and then the inside is just a sticker so you know very simple and easy um sometimes that's what you need to do be simple don't don't try to reinvent something that's really hard for you to do at the moment. If you want to get cards done, I did a lot more cards, but I sent them out already to family. Um, but these are the ones I'm going to give out to, on Easter tomorrow. So um, just remember, though, sometimes, you know, simple is better. Um, this one's a little, <laughs> this is a little more than I would normally put on a card, but I just thought it was so cute with the polka dots and the little gems and that it says happy easter traditions this is going to be for my my in-laws my mother father uh, in-laws um and i hope they'll it'll bring a smile to their face they're just it's just a cute cute little card but simple and then uh, sending loads of love okay so again i'm just going to put the cards out here i just i i find that i mean i i have a hard time making cards on on like film it's just too i have i make a mess all over my table 
all over my desk, wherever I'm working at. It's, it's a big deal that I'm, you know, putting so much effort in. I want to concentrate. I don't want to thought, think, I don't want to talk about what I'm doing while I'm doing it. I just want to get it done. And I want, you know, I want to do what I, takes to get it done sometimes it's uh it's a process it takes a while because I have to check and make sure things are working out the way I want them to putting together things you know like I had to go through a bunch of things to get all the papers and the the sayings and the toppers and the little gems and all the stuff that I wanted to put on the cards so don't feel you know stressed out about it if it is too stressful then you have to rethink what's going on I, like I said, used to do everything by scratch. I used to stamp my little images. I used to color them in with Copic markers <laughs> diligently. Um, I, I was good at it. I'm very good at it, actually. But I, I would um, die cut everything, either with the metal dies, um, and make sure everything was perfect, you know, looked great and everything. And then um, I also have a die cutting machine that's an electronic machine, the Brother Scan and Cut, which I could cut out stamped images all the time now. So I do do that still. But what I'm, why, um, what I'm trying to do now is show that it, you don't have to go crazy about card making. Card making can be a lot of fun and it doesn't have to be a big deal, right? So um, do it at your own pace. Start out small like this. Start out with little, pretty cute little decorations and things that you would like. Um, to You know, I'm sorry, I just got a call from my husband. <laughs> he's on his way home. It's late, I get It's late, but he's an accountant, so that's what happens. But, okay, so anyway, my my bottom line is make things to make yourself happy and make things that you'll be happy giving away and that you think other people will be happy getting don't you don't have to go crazy you don't have to you know compete with other people on the internet don't have to make things perfect it's handmade that's the point you know with handmade things you want to make it you know like that it shows that you put your effort into it yourself and that you did it it's not store bought and right so you want it to look special but you also want it to look like you it is handmade so don't worry if it's not perfect and don't worry if it's not you know if you make something and you don't really like it it's, it's just paper <laughs> make more make you know get more paper do what you need to do anyway i just want to say thank you for anybody who is out there that's watching this and that you know i really appreciate if you subscribe if you haven't already because i really want to keep this channel going and i want to make sure i'm reaching people um and getting people hints and tips for card making and paper crafting. I'm going to keep doing more. <laughs> I like doing this. It's a lot of fun. But I really want people to interact too. So if you can leave me a message down below. Maybe if, you, you know, if you've watched this. Um, leave a message letting me know how you celebrate um, Easter. If you, know, if you have a special tradition for your family. Um, we always do an Easter egg hunt with our family on both sides. Um, now the kids are older on one, my, my side. We don't do it as much, but we always have had Easter egg hunts every Easter, and we always love it, and we're having, we have fun, and we're hoping to have one tomorrow with my husband's family. Hopefully, we'll be able to make it to the, for the Easter egg hunt. So thanks for, for being with me, and have a really nice holiday if you celebrate, and hope to see you back here again soon. Thank you. Bye.